All right, so today's detail is a bit crazy. This is actually a stolen Jeep. It was originally owned by a high schooler that drove it around for a little while before it was stolen. And once it was stolen for over a year and a half and missing, it was apparently used on private property for that period of time. And that was why it was never found until fairly recently when it was recovered and purchased back from the insurance company. And that is the state that you see here. So that is why I am personally detailing this one for free for these people um, to get this thing looking like new again because they want to drive it and it is in operating condition despite the fact how nasty it looks on the inside. So let's go ahead and get started and getting this thing completely cleared out and cleaned up. And by the end of this, I promise you this thing's going to look immaculate. In last week's video, we had a giveaway going for a leather cleaning kit from mintshine.com, which is my own personal brand. And the winner from last week is Christopher Bravo. And we're gonna do another giveaway in this video that I'll talk about later on. But first off, I do wanna say thank you to everybody that pre-ordered Mintshine all-purpose cleaner. I mean, I literally was almost sold out during the pre-orders and now I'm trying to get more supplies in so that way you can keep going. I mean, I had somebody pre-order five bottles and then they repurchased another six bottles two weeks later because they liked it so much. So if you guys haven't tried Mint Shine products, I've put my heart and soul into this brand, making the products smell the best I can. They smell amazing and they work really well and it's all I use in my videos. So if you haven't picked up your detail and supplies from foxclean.com, recommend you head over there after this video, check it out, pick up your supplies, especially with spring coming around. It's the perfect time to pick it up and get stocked up. probably noticing that I am using a dual action polisher on carpet, which is something very uncommon and something I haven't seen any other YouTuber detailer do. Um, but I saw this by uh, somebody that recommended the video for me on TikTok that a detailer was using it because of the vibration it causes to the floor, that if you have any dirt or especially sand, if you live in you know the, Florida, for instance, and you go to the beach, sand is a pain in the butt to get out of carpet. Um, this kicks butt at taking care of that, vibrating it and completely lifting it out of those fibers. It makes it so much easier to get it all out, saves you a ton of time. And definitely if you have this, uh, a dual action polish or any polisher for that matter, I recommend you give it a shot because I was super impressed by it. So I can't remember who gave me that tip, but thank you whoever sent that to me because it is definitely a lifesaver, especially with this vehicle.
Now, I know this vehicle was stolen, and I have my own stolen story I wanted to tell you guys. Um, back when I was in college, I had a 94 Integra GSR uh, that I had done a ton of work to. It was kind of my, it was my first car, so it was my baby at that point. Um, and I was in the middle of class, and I came back out, and my car was gone, and I just thought I parked on a different floor of the parking garage, but I never found it. And it was, it was stolen, because I found glass on the ground that was from the window being shattered. And it was over a month before they finally found the car um, in a ditch somewhere. The engine was pulled and removed from it. All the coilovers were pulled and removed. The rims were switched with some crap steelies. The interior was gutted. I mean, it was it was bad. It was a really sad day for me. But <clears throat> I ended up buying the car back, parting it out, making a little extra money before I picked up my 90, well, it was a 2001 Integra GSR. I showed that in the last couple videos before. Um, it was like a goldish color. So I was able to get a newer one and get it replaced, but it was a sad day. It was my first car, and if you guys have a story where you know your car was stolen or if you had anything stolen that was a crazy story, let me know in the comments below. It's um, it's one of those things that if you have never experienced before, you never understand how crazy it is. But um, for me, it was it was a little bit traumatic, especially in college, having my car stolen. I was extra paranoid after that with any car I owned.
Now, a question I usually get is what products do I use in my videos? I always have them linked down below for you guys to check out. Um, I definitely utilize the Wagner Steam Cleaner here uh, extensively, and it's something I use a lot in my videos. It does a great job at dislodging a lot of dirt, um, loosening up any oily or greasy residue, removing stains. Um, it's definitely a beneficial tool to use for a lot of things, especially with um, enhancing the cleaning capability of your products, it's like all-purpose cleaner or leather cleaner. Um, it just allows the, the product to work better at removing any uh, stains or, or dirt that you might have on the specific part of the vehicle. Now as a way that I've done this in the past and something I wanted to do this week as well is that randomly in Fox Clean orders slip in $100 bills. Um, I did this a long time ago, like two, three times, and it's, it's just something that I like to do to give back to those that have purchased things from me and purchased my detailing products um, just as a crazy surprise that when they open up the package is a hundred dollar bill in there as well as with their products. So that's something I'm going to be doing this week. Um, and while you guys watch this extraction clip, just know that this carpet and this fabric and this thing, I use a carpet cleaning solution, but I also utilize my all purpose cleaner because it is all purpose for that matter. Um, it's something I usually test on different seat combinations to make sure I remove all of the greasy residue that gets embedded in those carpet fibers. And for this one, it was definitely necessary, especially in the, the butt part of this cushion where there was uh, some definite greasy residue, I think.
Now moving on to the exterior, we're gonna be utilizing the foam cannon and the pink foam that I am working on the uh, formula for. And when I did a poll like a couple weeks ago, you guys all voted that you were, your pink was the favorite color that you like to see on this. So this Jeep is getting a nice pink foam coating on it uh, to help remove any of that dirt and residue that's on that surface, loosen up that mud and everything before we rinse it off and get back to uh, doing the dual bucket method with our washman. Now the wheels and tires, the paint washed, we need to kind of remove any residue, any kind of embedded you know, dirt on the surface. And for that, I'm using a clay bar, which I usually use, just use the leftover soap from washing the car as a lubricant. It helps slide that clay bar across the surface and it picks up all these contaminants that you see here, just on that one little panel. Um, once you're done with that panel, you kind of fold the clay bar over, embed that dirt inside the clay and reveal a fresh new surface to kind of continue a rest around the vehicle. Um, and then I rinse it off and then for that I'm using the Fox Clean drying towels which are insane. I have tons of people. I had somebody order yesterday seven drying towels in one order which is amazing. I'm hoping they're a detailer or maybe they're getting them for friends and family but these things kick butt. This one towel dries the whole exterior and gets it ready for us to spray on our, our spray sprayama coating. And for the ceramic coating, I'm using Mint Shine Galactic Ceramic Spray. It's an easy, once the car's dry, spray that you spray on, lightly mist it on the surface, buff it and move it around so that way it covers the panel completely, and then use a second fresh microfiber towel to remove any residual residue that might be on the surface. And that is how I protect the paint on most of these cars that come in that just want a quick job done, um, don't require any polishing or anything like that.
Now for privacy reasons, the owner didn't want to get their reaction in this vehicle in particular, but I will say when I did drop this car back off, they were incredibly excited to finally have the car back for their own personal use after it was gone for such a long time, having it restored back to new condition for them like they had it when they originally owned it, and they were they were extremely excited. And if you guys did not know that every detail that I do on this channel is completely for free. So every car you see has been done for free in the past and is still done in the future. So for that reason, I need to make sure you guys subscribe, hit that like button. It helps make this channel possible. It helps support so that way I can continue to do these details for free, getting the nastiest cars that I can find and you guys getting to enjoy the satisfaction of seeing these things cleaned up by the end of the video. So with that being said, I will see you guys next week, and I hope you have a great rest of your weekend.